Hello and welcome to my tech farm. My name is Igor and a few months ago I had an experiment where I was comparing FDM versus SLA CD printed bolts and screw nuts. And there I used the uh, cheap budget materials. For FDM I used the uh, PLA and for SLA material I used uh, water washable resin. And then I got a lot of comments. Uh, one of them suggested that instead of PLA I should use PETG. And uh, instead of water washable resin, I should use uh, something like Siraya Blue. And a few weeks later, I was contacted by Siraya company and uh, they sent me their resin for a review. Uh, since I don't have a uh, SLA CD printer, so I give this uh, resin to company who printed uh, these bolts and screw nuts. And uh, they used uh, Illigo Mars, and there was some small problem with the diameter, so reprint they reprinted me again. So uh, next time they used the uh, Photon S. And here they are. So in this video, I am comparing PTG versus Siraya Blue resin. I repeat those tests from my previous video. So I will have the uh, pulling or tensile test, the shear, and the torque test. And I have two new tests, very important, uh, and I believe there will be a very big difference. See? And there's our impact and temperature test. And what do you think? Who will win in the second match? Well, let's find out together. And here they are. These are printed on Elego Mars. And I really like this uh, transparent blue color. They look really great. Uh, only problem I had with these uh, bolts are they are a little bit oversized in X y direction in z direction they are fine so i use the die tool to clear the thread in z direction it's okay i hope it will be visible on camera so only in x y z i had to reduce less than uh, 0.1 millimeter but uh, that was enough that I, it lost here that uh, beautiful transparent color uh, but uh, in my case, I'm using this for mechanical tests, so it's not important. Uh, and this, uh, now it, the metallic nut goes on it without any problem. Here it's a little bit tight on this part. And the same with the screw nuts. Of course, I asked the company about this situation and they told me they will reprint this and these are printed on uh, Photon S. And very interesting that the uh, color is a little bit more greenish compared to this blue version. And But the dimension is exactly the same, so the same oversight. And they told me that I should compensate this in STR file and they will reprint this to me. Uh, but I said never mind, so I will just use a tap and die tool and uh, for mechanical test it's not so important. And this is now PETG, plus 7 PETG, this uh, is exactly the same material uh, which is used for 3D printing uh, plastic parts on my pusher printer. And just in case I dry it in my e filament dryer, because moisture may have some negative effect to the strength. And as you can see they are printed in horizontal position, uh, here we can see the mark of the support. Of course I have a new version. A uh, new method for this, I can print it slice a little bit, but then the head is a little bit smaller. But I want to get full size just for this comparison. It's a little bit tight, so I have to force the nut first time. But only first time, but I will clean it with the uh, die tool. And these are screw nuts. Here I don't have to do any modification because they are printed in vertically. Probably I will use the tap tool because at the end uh, it's a little bit harder but until here it goes on it without any problems. Okay, so let's test them. Test specimens for my first test. So two bolts uh, from PETG and two bolts from uh, Siraya Blue Resin. Uh, one is printed with Illigo Mars and the other is with the Photon S. And this is the final result for the pulling or tensile test for the bolts. 
and here PETG was stronger by 18%. And it's time for share stress, so uh, I will have again two PETG boards and two Serial Blue, but this one is printed with Lego Mars and this one with Photon S. And this test I want to be comparable with my previous test from round one, so I will use here the double-sided share stress. Usually metallic boards don't have this type of stress in this form, but uh, plastic boards we cannot tie it so much, so there is not enough friction to hold it in one place. So yes, here if load perpendicular to the hole appears, uh, it will result a share stress to the board. And here they are, so the PETG was shared very nice, just exactly where it should be on, on those two uh, cross-section areas. But uh, these two, even with, with the printed with the Illigo Mars or Photon S, uh, they just, I don't know, exploded. So I really had that feeling that uh, they were shared very suddenly. So with this test, PETG was stronger by 68%. Let's measure the torque. I will use... Uh, plastic and resin boards in combination with metallic nut. This will be only a washer and I will use this torque meter from 0.3 to 13 Newton meters. And this torque meter can record the peak of one movement. In the meantime, my camera have a question for you. How do you like my old bike? <laughs> Must be very interesting. Sir, I have printed on Illigo Mars. One point one. But it breaks suddenly. Sir, I have printed on Photon S. Mm, 0.9 Very interesting uh, case, so the PETG thread was slowly shared and uh, the resin bolts there just uh, broke very suddenly but on higher torque. So in this case CRA blue was stronger by 85%. And it is time to test the screw nuts. So again two PETG nuts uh, and two CRA blue but this one is printed on Illigo Mars and this on Photon S. And this is the result of the screw nut pulling test. Actually, it is a share stress for the treats. As you can see, the, the PETG treats were shared out. I just feel how slowly I put them out. But the resin screw nuts, both printed on Illigo Mars or Photon S, they just, just explode. So I'm very curious how will this material perform on the impact test. It broke suddenly, but uh, this time Sierra Blue uh, screw nuts were stronger by almost 50%. And now let's test the screw nuts. Again, I'm placing a washer and a metallic bolt. 1.6. Point eight. Point seven. One point seven was the biggest. Sierra blue printed on Illigo Mars. One point eight. Sierra Blue printed on Photon S. 0 0.8. 1.8. 2.0. .0. PTG screw nuts, the thread was uh, pulled out. And interesting, the resin uh, nuts, they broke in two pieces. And they broke suddenly, but on higher torque. And Sierra Blue screw nut was stronger by approximately 9%. And now let's see how brittle are these materials. 
but besides uh, Sierra Blue and uh, PTG, I will include the bolts from my previous uh, experiment, the PLA and uh, Illigo water washable resin. So I want to do some comparison uh, with all three bolts. The experiment is based on Sharpie impact test. I have here one kilogram hammer and if I release it, it will swing to the other side and I will record the position uh, what, what was it maximum hiked. And then I will place the test specimen here and uh, it will break it and swing to the lower position and from difference in height I can calculate the potential energy difference and from that I know how many joules are used for the breaking the M6 bolt. I will explain everything in detail in one of my uh, future videos uh, which will be only about this uh, equipment. Printer to photon S. And this is how they broke mostly very evenly, only the water washable illegal resin broke in three pieces. Well, compared to PETG, uh, Syria Blue is very brittle material and PETG was stronger in this case by four and a half times approximately. This is my setup for temperature test. So in this order this is uh, PLA, PETG, Syria Blue water washable resin and this is some different PLA plus just curious to see when will they fail and I have a, they stand out of exactly 15 millimeters and uh, I place just a small load on it these are M10 nuts I placed all test specimens in the oven and followed the temperature when they move for the first time and both PLA moved at approximately 58 degrees Celsius PTG at 75 degrees Celsius and what happened after this? And what about resin? It's more than 200 degrees inside but I will stop the experiment here. Filaments versus resin. And uh, here they are after this thermal treatment. So this is it, the original color, and and this is after this uh, heat treatment. So side by side, and this is the Sierra Blue printed on Illigo Mars. Yeah, the color became more greenish. These are printed on the Photon S, also Sierra Blue. Color is very similar, dimension definitely very similar, only a little bit more greenish color after heat treatment. And the biggest difference is with this uh, illegal water washable resin this one is before treatment the original color and this one is after heat treatment so it changed the color but uh, the feeling and and the dimensions are without any change so definitely the winner of this round is uh, resin 
Well, that was close, but winner of this rematch is Syria Blue. And it is very good to have uh, resin with a similar strength like a filaments because if you saw my previous video, the difference between ordinary PLA and that uh, illegal water washable resin was uh, huge. Uh, yes, it is a little bit brittle, but uh, if you need something uh, with a nice details uh, and uh, to use on higher temperatures, then definitely this may be the solution for you. Of course, I hope everybody understands that this is not only about CD printed bolts and screw nuts, but more about understanding these two materials. And, oh yes, uh, I almost forget, uh, so here is the table where I've included all the results, even those from my previous video, so you can compare, for example, Syria Blue and, uh, I don't know, PLA or Illigu water washable resin. <laughs> for me, it was, this was a very interesting uh, experiment, because I definitely wasn't sure about what will be the result. And uh, I hope you enjoy too. Thank you for watching and um, happy printing.